Hey, what's up, people of the YouTube? It's for you here, and today I'm gonna do another tutorial. And this is about how you should use Premiere Pro and After Effects, and how you will jump with clips in between, and how you would would import it and stuff like that. So, like how you would how you take a clip from Premiere Pro into After Effects, do the effect works there, and then get back out. Now I've prepared a little clip here so we'll play around with today. Now what you would do if you had have a good computer, you would just select the clips you want to edit in After Effects, right click it and replace it with an After Effects composition. And it will open up After Effects and have some loading. It will start up. You have to save. I'm just gonna do like Premiere to AE. Save it. And now you have every clip here. So now you can just go ham and start like. For say, I'm gonna do a mask, mask like that, and then subtract it. Put some feather on it, just to make it a little bit cooler. Uh, and then see, yeah, it works pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. And every change I'm doing in After Effects comes into Premiere Pro as well, as you can see. So that's the easy part. However, this requires quite a lot of computer and processing power. So the tutorial for today is how would you do if you don't have like a good computer or you can't do it this way uh, for for sure this is the most efficient way so at least try since you have everything here every like i even have a crossfade from premiere pro it's here the music is synced up as well and all that things the good stuff but if you can't use it then i'm going to show you how you would do it let's just step back on this one and what i would do let's say we have like i'm going to do the same like mask on this clip i would do like this copy copy it to like a track above don't show the video one and then i will just pick this clip and i will would extend it beyond the point where i want it to end for example, yeah, it's going to go right here. And then I would, let's just say I want it to be like over here. Yeah, it's going to end over here. And make sure you have this little thing in between you, because now we're going to render it. Because we need to get it out of Premiere Pro. Uh, H264, yes, and I have a custom 20, 1080p, 24 frames. Uh, let's just save it to the map tutorials. I'm gonna do like this clip one just to make it easy, and then we export. And now I have my clip one in the folder. Go into After Effects. I'm gonna make a new project just to make make it easier for you to. Uh, don't save. And now we have a new project, and what we do is just. Oh, it's over here. I'm gonna just put it here. There we go. You import the clip you render from Premiere Pro. And then you just drag it down here to a new composition and you will get all the stats and everything. Just right. Yep. Uh, and now you can just start with the effect work. Now the problem here is what I just did. If you don't, if you in Premiere Pro you don't pick the music, this clip won't be synced. Now it is though, if I do like this, press the zero on the numpad on the keyboard. We'll just render a bit. Now I have the music there. So make sure when you render from Premiere Pro that the music track is also synced up. Because like after this point, there's no like going back and syncing again. So make sure it's all synced up. Uh, and I'm just gonna make like 
the quick effect I did before, just the mask, subtract it with a bit of feather. Yeah, something like that. Uh, uh, tip for you guys that don't have a good computer down here. If you have it on full, this will like be full resolution everything. If you want faster renders, go down to like a third or even quarter and you can see the graininess start to go in, but it renders much faster. I just can go, no, 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 no. And if I have it on full, it's gonna jump a lot more. Now I have a good computer though, so that doesn't show that good, but you get the point. Well, let's see, yeah, I have the effect right now. So what do I do after this? Is I want to get this clip out of After Effects with all the effects on it and everything. I want it to go back into Premiere Pro so I can finish up the AMV. So add it to a render queue. That's how you get it out of After Effects. Now this output module has a lot of different things you can pick from. Um, and you have the H.264 preset and everything. But you don't want to do that, at least if you're making masks and stuff like that. You want have a loose list with alpha because what that does it's it exports the alpha with it which is like transparent things and stuff like that so if you have a mask then in the video clip there won't be anything so you can just add a clip under it and stuff like that it, it will make more sense when i get it into premiere Pro. i'll show you so let's see i will get it into the same folder uh, clip one dot avi i'm just gonna do like this so you get the point lose less and make sure that if you want the audio with it enable the audio output down here you just click on the thingy and it will pop up and make sure the audio output is checked so it, the audio will get rendered as well and then render and the most beautiful sound in the world. Uh, what we do now, it's go back to Premiere Pro. And I will actually do it like this, just get it from my other computer screen, just to show you. Uh, what we do now, it's go into the folder and get the looseless AVI. Import it to the project. Good. Now we have this file over here. Now what I would do is just drag this over. Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna make sure the audio is synced up. Yep, yeah, it's pretty much synced up. Uh, so what we do right now is we can delete the track we used earlier. I'm gonna go back to this so we can see anything. Something. As you can see, now it's black over here. Um, but we need a clip under it just to make sure that the black in the screen is transparent and voila, it is. So what we have right here is We need to cut that where we want it, so right around here. And what we can do now is just like kind of copy this, remove that, get this up here, change the track over here so we can copy it. And now we have an effect. So it's it's more work, but it works. Uh, I'm just gonna link this and we'll get rid of this. So oh, I need to enable a track again. And I can do something like from the beginning and fade that in as well. I don't know how that fades. It's just a normal fade. So there you have it, guys. That's how you 
go from Premiere Pro into After Effects, do an effect, get it out from After Effects and back into Premiere Pro. It's a lot more work than just like go <laughs> right click and replace with After Effects composition and a lot more like things to make sure are right, like the sync and you have like room with edits like I did, I extended it up, up here so we could get the extra clip back. So yeah, that's how you do it. Now one thing, last thing to mention is though, um, <laughs> this is a clip I got from Premiere Pro. It's at 11 megabytes down here. The loose list AVI I got from After Effects just to make sure that the transparent blackness is there. The same clip is 1.3 gigs. So make sure you have room on your computer if you're gonna make like effects jump like this. That's uh, about it guys. Hope this little thingy bajingy helped you with whatever you're trying to accomplish with your AMV. So, uh, yeah, until next time, guys. See ya.